Hello everyone, and in this tutorial, we're going to be making multiple ground clones so we can be able to scroll around. I'm going to click on the ground sprite, click on costumes, and I'm just going to move this wall down because it's probably impossible to jump over. And now I'm going to right click on it and press duplicate, and you can see your names is for us. I'm going to change this level around. Okay, and I'm also going to make it a different color. Now let's go back to the code. And the first thing we need to do is make a new block called position. And it needs an X and Y input. And I'm going to press OK. And inside of here, I'm going to drag out go to and X and Y and if x is equal to x position and y is equal to y position show if we aren't then hide now I'm going to drag this block out of here. When I receive play game, we want to set x to 0, set y to 0, we want to hide, and switch costume to level 1 1. Create cloner myself, and I'm just going to duplicate this right here and take out the hide block. And I want to set x to 480 and switch costume to level 1-2. Now, when I start as a clone, we want to show, and then forever, I'm going to take out this block right here, position, and inside of here, I'm going to put two minus symbols, x, minus x, minus scroll x, and y minus scroll y. I'm going to go back to my player sprite and I need to in the restart function set y velocity to 0 and go to 0 0. So when I press the green flag I can move around and you can see now there's a different level. If you wanted to add more you can just click on the ground sprite go to costumes and add a new costume and change this up. I'm going to change the color. And I'm going to go back to my code. Duplicate this code. And instead of set x to 480, I want to change x by 480. And set costume to level 1-3. And when I press to play, and move all the way to the right, you can see here is a new level. One problem there is that if we jump off the level and hit the floor, the bottom of the screen, nothing happens. Let's fix this. So I'm going to make a new variable, and I'm going to call this game state, and press OK. I'm going to go up to my restart function, and set game state to playing. And I'm going to go down here to my play game. And I'm going to drag out repeat until. And drag out not. And equals. And repeat until the game state is not equal to playing. Now we simply need to detect if we are below the screen. So if y is less than negative 180. then set game state to death so when I press the green flag if I go below the screen the game stops now all we need to do is reset the player to the beginning position I'm going to make a new block and call this death 
and put this right below here. In the death, I need to stop all scripts in the sprite. Man broadcast play game. So when I press the game flag, you can see I go below and the game stops and plays. One issue though is that the ground will keep on cloning itself each time we call play game. To fix this, all we need to do is drag out when I receive play game and instead use when a green flag clicks. So I'm going to drop below the screen and you can see we die. Looks a little boring though when we die, so let's make a little animation. I'm going to click on player. And before we broadcast play game, we want to repeat 10. And I'm going to change this to repeat 5. Want to hide. Wait 0.1 seconds. Show. And then wait 0.1 seconds. And then after this, play game. So when I press the green flag and go below, you can see the player blinks and then goes back to the starting position. The game is also very boring without lava. So let's add that in now. I'm going to right click on ground and press duplicate. I'm going to call this enemies. And I can just leave these levels. What I need to do is make a lava costume. I'm going to click on fill and choose a reddish color because lava is always red and fill in this place right here with lava. Now I'm going to delete the ground. And so it's just lava and add this to level 1-2. So I'm going to use the same color. And I'm not going to add any lava on level 1.3 so I'm just gonna leave this blank let's leave the code as it is and press play and you can see that lava appears on the screen but when we do touch it nothing happens I'm gonna click on my player sprite and go to my update function and all we need to detect if we are touching lava so if we're touching enemies set game state to death. Let's press play and you can see when we touch the lava we die. And go back